In this video, I'll go over ACT math problems they might find on the ACT exam involving matrices. We're going to cover addition and subtraction of matrices, scalar multiplication, matrix multiplication, applying two matrices together, and finding the determinant of a matrix. So this first problem says the two by two matrices A and B below are related to the matrix C by the equation C equals A minus B. What is matrix C? So we're taking matrix A minus matrix B. Now in order to add or subtract matrices, they need to have the same dimensions. So we look at A, this is a two by two matrix, two rows, two columns. Matrix B is also two by two, two rows, two columns. So we have the same dimensions so we can add or subtract them. And what we do is add or subtract the corresponding locations. So we're subtracting, so it's going to be 2 minus 5, and 9 minus a negative 2, negative 3 minus 1, and 4 minus 7. Two minus five is negative three. Nine minus a negative two or nine plus two is eleven. Negative three minus one is negative four. And four minus seven is negative three. So I get this answer B. Okay, so adding or subtracting matrices to add or subtract the corresponding locations. And two matrices need to have the same dimensions. This problem says the two by two matrices A and B below are related to matrix C by the equation C equals 3A plus 2B. What is matrix C? Okay, so this one we're adding them, but we're also multiplying by a scalar. So 3A, and also these are the same dimensions, so we can add them together. 3A, all you gotta do there is multiply each element in A by three. So two, times three is six, nine times three is 27, negative three times three is negative nine, and four times three is 12. All right, then two B, we're gonna multiply each element by two. So we have five times two is 10, Negative two times two is negative four. One times two is two. And then seven times two is 14. Then again, now we're gonna add these two together. So we have six plus 10 is 16. 27 plus negative four is 23. Negative nine plus two negative 7 and 12 plus 14 is 26 okay so that's our matrix C and answer D so here we multiply by a scalar first 3 times each element in A and 2 times each element in B and then added those two matrices together Now this problem says, what is the matrix product of these two matrices? Now when you do a matrix product, you take the row times the column. So this row times this column, and then this row times that same column. All right, in order to multiply two matrices, so this first matrix is a two by two, two rows, two columns. The second one is two rows, in one column. And if we look at the middle here, these two numbers have to be the same value in order to be able to multiply those two matrices together. So here both are two, so we can multiply these two together. And the resulting matrix will be two by one, two rows and one column. Okay, so like I said, take the first row times the column 
So 2 times 3 plus negative 2 times negative 2. Then we're going to do 5 times 3, second row, times the column, times 4 times negative 2. All right, so this is our going to be a 2 by 1 matrix, like we said. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4, 5 times 3 is 15, plus a negative 2 times 4, or negative 8, which gives us 10 and 7. I guess it's answer C. So just to go over it again, we have the first row in the first matrix, and the first column in the second matrix. So we did 2 times 3 plus negative 2 times negative 2. And then we went to the second row in the first matrix and multiplied by the column in the second matrix. So 5 times 3 plus 4 times negative 2. And then our result was 10 and 7. So this problem reads, the table below shows the number of rows and columns in each of the five matrices. We have matrix A, B, C, D, and E. For distinct values of M, N, and P, which of the following matrix products is not possible? So let me say not possible. Now in order to multiply two matrices, you know, we got rows by columns, rows by columns. These two middle columns of the first matrix and rows of the second matrix have to be the same, same value, in order to multiply those two matrices together. Okay, so we look at matrix A, that's M by P. Matrix B is P by M. So the middle two are the same, so we're good there. Now B times A, so B is P times M, and A is M by P. So both are M in the middle, so we're good there. C and D, so C is P by N, and D is M by N. These middle two are not the same. Okay, so that's going to be not possible. Look at the other ones, A and C. A is M by P. C is P by N. So those are the same. B is P by M. And D is M by N. Those are the same. Okay, so in order to multiply two matrices together, the columns of the first one need to match the rows of the second matrix. This problem says, what is the value of the determinant of this matrix? To find a determinant of a matrix, we're going to multiply this diagonal and then subtract the product of this diagonal. So 7 times 4 minus 5 times 3. 7 times 4 is 28. 5 times 3 is 15. So 28 minus 15 gives you 13. So answer C. So the product of the first diagonal, 7 and 4, minus the product of the second diagonal, 5 and 3. That is the determinant of a matrix. This problem says, for what value of B will the determinant of matrix have a value of 17? Okay, so we said before, it's going to be the product of this diagonal minus the product of this diagonal. So 8 times B, or 8B minus 5 times 3, that's going to equal 17. Or 8B minus 15 equals 17. Add 15 to both sides. So 8B 
equals 32, divide both sides by 8, and b equals 4. So in this problem, they combine finding determinant and the algebra problem solving for a variable. Okay, so our answer here is 4. This problem says, which of the following augmented matrices represent the system of linear equations below? Now for this, all we need to do is basically put the x values in this column, the y values here, and your constant value there. So 2, 5, 26, and 3, 2, 17. So there's nothing major to solve for here, just put it in order. Okay, so this is going to be answer A. So this problem says the shuttle company Shuttles R Us and City Shuttle each own a fleet of vans and buses. Shuttles R Us owns 10 vans and 5 buses, and City Shuttle owns 8 vans and 7 buses. To get a van clean, it costs $45 per van, and to get a bus clean, it costs $75 per bus. Which of the following matrix products represents the total cost for each company to get their vans and buses cleaned? Now, if we were just to find you know, the total cost for each company, you know, Shuttles R Us, You have 10 vans, and it's $45 per van, so 45 times 10. And the buses, they have five buses, and each bus costs $75. This goes 450 plus 375, which will equal 825. And then for City Shuttle, they have eight vans and seven buses, so eight times the 45 plus the seven times the 75, which is 360 plus 525, which gives us 885. So really we want a resulting matrix that's going to be 825 and 8. 85. And that's the total cost for each company. Now if we look at our answer choices, look at D and E. The first matrix is two rows by one column. The second matrix is two rows by two columns. These two middle numbers do not match, so you can't even multiply it that way. So we eliminate those two. We've got A, B, and C. They start out with 45 and 75. And remember, we're going to multiply that row by the column. So for the first company, I want 45 multiplied by the number of vans they have, which is 10. And I want to multiply the $75 times how many buses they have, which is 5. So I'll give me 45 times 10 plus 75 times 5. And then for the second company, I want the $45 times how many vans they have, which is 8. And then the 75 times the number of buses they have, which is 7. Okay, so if I were to do this, that'd be 45 times 10 plus 75 times 5. And then 45 times 8 plus 75 times 7. Which gives us 825 and 885. So remember this is one row by two columns and two by two. Our resulting matrix be one row by two columns. So technically, they would have been 825, 885, like that. Okay, so it should be one row by two columns. Okay, but it's going to be 45, 75, 
then 10, 8, 5, 7. So answer B is the correct way to multiply these two together. So I hope this video helped you understand how to answer matrices problems on the ACT exam. Thanks.